today's video, we're going to be working on absolute value equations. For number one, we have the absolute value of 7x equals 49. On number two, we have the absolute value of x minus 8 equals 3. Okay, so remember when we're talking about absolute value, we're just talking about how many spaces there's really to get to zero. So if you're negative 7, how many spaces is it going to go so you to go, for you to get to zero, which is going to be seven? If you have seven, how many spaces is zero to seven, which is going to be seven, okay? So here, we're going to have to be, we're only going to switch all the time after your equal signs, okay? So for number one, it's other going to be, we're going to switch the, to negative 49 or positive 49, okay? And we're gonna just write two different equations. We're gonna run, write one where it's 7x equals negative 49. And then we have another equation where you're gonna write 7x equals positive 49. Okay? And we know once we do this, we already know that this is gonna be a one step equation. Okay? So if you don't know how to do one step equation, Go ahead, I'll put that link down below so you can go ahead and review on one step equation, okay? So you know that if this is multiplying the opposite of multiplication, it's gonna be a division. So you're gonna divide by seven to leave x by itself and divide by seven on the other side. Whatever you do on one side, you're gonna do it on the other side. Once you do that, you know this is gonna cancel. You're gonna leave x by itself equals seven goes into 49 seven times. But remember, positive times a negative, it's gonna be a negative, so it'll be negative seven. On the other one, it's gonna be negative seven. And then on the other side, you're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to get rid of seven. We're gonna divide by seven. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, don't forget you have to do it on the other side of the equal sign. So then it's gonna go ahead and cancel and leave x by itself. So now x equals seven goes into 49, gonna be seven, okay? So your answer for number one is going to be, you can write it as negative seven or positive seven, okay? Now for number two, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, okay? You're going to do, is all that going to be, your answer is going to be uh, negative three or it's going to be positive three. Same thing we did on number one, we're going to go ahead and two, write Two equations, we have x minus eight equals negative three. And then we're gonna have the other equation where you're gonna have x minus eight, x minus, x minus eight equals a positive three, okay? So now we know this again, once again, it becomes a one-step equation. So you're gonna go ahead and do, how do you get rid of negative eight? By adding positive eight on one side, and whatever you do on one side, you have to do it on the other side, so you can go ahead and balance out. Then we're gonna go ahead and cancel. This is gonna leave x by itself. So now we have x equals, remember, easiest way that I do it is cover the first two signs. If it's a negative or positive, I just go ahead and cover it, and I say, okay, what number is bigger? Is it an eight or a three bigger? I know that eight is bigger, so Whatever sign is in front of the eight, that's what sign I'm gonna go use when I get my answer. So in this case, it's nothing, which is gonna be positive. But remember, when you have two different signs, you're gonna go ahead and subtract. So eight minus three is gonna go ahead and give you five. So x equals five. On the other side, we have the same thing. Negative eight, we're gonna do the same thing. It's plus eight. Whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, don't forget you have to do it on the other side as well. So after that, you know you're gonna cancel this. X equals, we have two of the same sign, so we're gonna go ahead and add. And eight plus three is gonna give us 11. For number three, we have the absolute value of X divided by five equals nine. And then we have the, we're gonna have the X absolute of X plus three equals 13. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with number three. And we know that right away that it's gonna be other two, like number one and two, right? It's either gonna be 
a negative 9 or a positive 9. So we're going to go ahead and just write the same problem, x5 equals, we're going to do 1 with negative 9, and then we're going to go ahead and do 1, then it's going to be x5 equals to a positive 9. Okay, so now we know this becomes again a one-step equation. So this is division. To get rid of division, you know we have to multiply by 5. And whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, don't forget we have to do it on the other side of the equal sign. So we know this is going to go ahead and cancel. Then we have x equals negative times a positive is going to be a negative, And 9 times 5 is going to go and give us 45. Okay, so that's going to be the answer from one side. And on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply by 5. And whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we have to go ahead and make sure we do it on the other side. Okay. So then we're going to go ahead and cancel this out. And that's going to leave us with x equals 9 times 5 is going to be 45. So our answer is going to be negative 45 or positive 45 okay so now for number four we have we have it that we know that we have to make sure that we isolate the absolute value of x and we need to have it by itself okay so how do we do that is that if this is a positive three then we know we have to go ahead and do it a negative 3. And whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we're going to go ahead and do it on the other side of the equal sign. So this will cancel, then will leave us with the absolute value of x equals two different signs. So we know we're going to go ahead and subtract, and 13 minus 3 is going to be 10. Okay. Now we know that we have the absolute by itself now, but we still know that it has to be 2, right? It has to be a negative 10, or a 10. So your answer for that one is going to be easily negative 10 or it's going to be 10. So for number 5 and 6, go ahead, like I always tell you guys in my videos, go ahead and try to challenge yourself. Try to go ahead and solve 5 or 6 and see if you guys have the right answer. And if not, just go back, watch the video step by step and see if you got it and think you did it the right way okay and if you haven't done so already don't forget to hit like and subscribe okay so for number five we have already we know that the absolute value has to be by itself all right so we know that right away we need to go ahead and multiply by four on one side and whatever we do always on one side we we'll have to do it on the other side before we go ahead and solve it right so we're going to go ahead and this cancels now we have x the absolute value of x minus 3 equals 6 times 4 which is 24 okay now from here you can go ahead and solve it right there's other two ways remember we have negative 24 or it has to be equal to 24 okay so we're gonna go ahead and solve for both like we said so we have x I'm gonna go and minus 3 equals negative 24 on one side and then we have the other equation we have x minus 3 it's gonna give us equal to positive 24 now we know that to get rid of negative 3 the opposite of negative 3 is positive 3 so whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we're going to make sure we do it on the other side of the equal sign. So now we go ahead and this cancels, this x by itself, x equals, we had two different signs, a negative and a positive. So we know we're going to go ahead and subtract. What's the biggest number? 24 or 3? 24. So what's the sign in front of the 24? is negative. So we know our answer is going to be negative. Once we subtract that, we know that 24 minus 3 is going to go and be 21 okay now on the other side we know that's negative 3 we go ahead and do the same thing 
positive 3, whatever we do on the one side of the equal sign, don't forget you have to do it on the other side of the equal sign as well. So this cancel, x equals 24 plus 3 is 27, okay? So you're going to have your answer to be negative 21 or positive 27 for number 5, okay? So now, for number 6, we have it a little bit different because we know that the absolute value of 5x minus 6 equals negative 3, okay? Now, on number 6, the, va the absolute value function can never equal a negative number, okay? Here we have it as a negative. So right away, you should write your answer to be no solution, okay? There could only be, you can only solve it when it's zero or a positive number, okay? And once again, thank you for watching.